Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create new items in a SharePoint list based on a Power App Canvas application. There are two ways of doing that. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to do it with a form, which is probably the easiest way to do it. I already have a form here, the edit form here in this task detail screen, but of course the new screen should be slightly different. So I'm just going to copy or duplicate that entire screen and make some modifications to it. That would be the quickest way. Of course, you can rename everything. You should rename everything here. The new task uh, screen, that's what we're doing here. And then the edit form, that should be the new form now. So the main difference here in, in this is, of course, that the, this form, the new form, should actually be in the new mode, not in the edit mode. Also, I want to go in and edit the fields here and set that the title should not be view text, but should actually be edit text. And the instructions should be edit rich text. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to just remove the done because most likely you're not creating tasks that are already done. Actually, maybe you do. All right. So I'll, I'll leave that one there, actually. All right. And the title, uh, it's not going to be title. It's going to be new task. And that should be it, really. Now we just need to find a way to get to that screen. I'm going to do that here. I'm just going to add a new button. New task is what I'm going to call that one. And I'm going to rename the button to CMD a new task. And I'm just going to make that form because that's what we're doing here using the form technique. Later I'm going to do one with a patch also in another demo. So let's make that one here. Always when you're opening a new dialogue, it's a good idea to put one of those in there to just show that this is not just executing something, it's opening another one. All right, let's run it now and see how that goes. So uh, we have the latest one we have there, test two. All right, so let's create a new task. Ah, I didn't hook that up to anything. Nothing happened when I clicked the button. Be of course, because on selected and put anything in there. So I'm going to have to navigate, of course, to the uh, new screen. New task screen. There we go. And I like the cover transition, so let's use that one. Now let's play it again. All right, new task form. Let's do test three. Work fast. Just to show you that the rich text is working and then we close that down and here it is task three and it's showing up fine notice the bug since before here that the title is not showing up there okay let's fix that later but anyhow there you go that's it actually the just to remind you what's going on here in the uh, submit button here on the new form i did actually got that when i copied from the uh, edit form that i had before but this just submits the form and navigates. Another step that you want to do here actually in the submit form is, is reset this form after you've submitted it. Reset it to, to blank, so that's a good thing to do. Otherwise things might get a bit tricky when you jump back and forth and so on, so you want everything to be cleared. And then I saw another issue that I want to fix here on the task details screen, that this is always showing title. So I'm going to fix this and I'm just going to show the selected title up there instead. When you go into this task details, so let's fix that. That's going to be the selected item in the gal tasks to do, which is the list, of course, that we have. Selected title. So that's better. And now we have title on the two places, so we can actually go and remove that in the edit form. I just noticed those things now. So let's fix those while we're here. Anyhow. So uh, back to that, and this was a new task form. The only thing I did was copy it, and as you see now, it's containing my old data. That's why we. So let's do a test four here. It's not good. Work slow on that one. All right, and then we're saving that one, and now it resets that form. So if I click it again, you see it goes blank. So that's the reason I wanted to reset. So that concludes this demo on creating new items in a SharePoint list based on a Power Apps Canvas app. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to do the same, but without using a form with the patch function. Thank you for watching this demonstration.